Welcome to this video using Corel Painter 12. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use various brushes and blenders to create a stunning winter scene. First, open Painter 12 and create a new image. Select a canvas size and click OK. You can move the canvas into the middle of the screen to see better. To create snow, select the opaque round brush from the Oils Brush category. Select an off-white color, preferably with a hint of blue. Resize the brush if you need to, and brush lightly around the bottom third of the page. You can adjust the color in the mixer to make some areas of the snow appear to be darker than others. This will create a nice shadow effect. To create birch trees, start with the soft, flat oils brush and set the paint color to a gray off of a light orange. You can add highlights of darker gray to the edges and a lighter cream color to the center for a more natural look. From the Blender's Brush category, select the Grainy Water Blender. Carefully blend the paint together to create an unmistakable birch tree look of white, cream, and gray. To add the fine details on the bark, start with the Glazing Acrylic Brush from the Acrylics Brush category. You can start with a light application of dark gray, pulling into the center of each trunk from the side. Larger details on the bark can be made by lowering the brush size and selecting much darker gray or black. Painting trees isn't an exact science. If you have an idea of how the patterns work, then you can simply make it up as you go along. You can always use photographs of trees to get an idea of how the various patterns look on different species. For example, some birch trees have a lot more details than others, so having a combination of younger and older trees with different styles and patterns of bark can create a nice scene. Adding twigs and other foliage to the base is quite easy. From the Oils Brush category, select the Flat Oils Brush and choose a dark brown. You can begin with some short lines and then change the brush size to add larger twigs or smaller ones with other details. Nature isn't perfect, so just remember to be random when you're drawing or painting foliage, and that it will make it look a lot more realistic. When the image is complete, it can be saved, uploaded to the web, or even printed onto canvas. Thank you for watching this tutorial using Corel Painter 12.